can a Varroa mite move? Well, in this video, we will show you a close-up of this parasite, which is mainly responsible for the death of our bees. My name is Yara, and welcome to Bees Are Funny. When we decided to make this video public, we thought it would be great to make this a learning opportunity. If you are watching this and you have bees yourself, this creature might be familiar to you and you probably know how dangerous this parasite can be for our bees. Now, if you have never seen one of these, let me explain to you pretty quick what it is and how bad they can be for our bees. So, just to give you an idea, its name is Baroa Destructor. And yes, they can destroy colonies of bees if nothing is done to keep the numbers of these mites low in a colony. This parasite is responsible for all the colonies that can't make it through the winter. You probably heard that our bees are disappearing. Literally, our bees are dying. In this year of 2017, this mite, the Varroa Destructor, together with CCD, Colony Collapse Disorder, are killing our bees around the world. This mite can reproduce so fast that bees won't have any chance to get rid of them by themselves. Another comment that will lead us to the answer of how fast can a Varroa mite move is that there are lots of treatments against this mite. You can find natural, organic, or alternative treatments which consists in the use of synthetic medicine. Up to this year, many of the synthetic treatments don't work anymore. Why? Well, Varroa Destructor found a way to develop resistance, in other words, immunity, to many of these treatments. For that reason is that in the battle against this parasite, beekeepers need to use all the tools necessary to support their bees. So to end this video, if you have bees, we want to encourage you, as part of your Varroa control, to use screened bottom boards. If you're still not using them, it is a really good way to help your bees get rid of these mites. Some of these bees have developed a more hygienic behavior than others, and by grooming, they can kick out those mites. As you can see now, Varroa can move really fast. If they fall over just a regular bottom board, they can jump back to any honeybee again and keep parasitizing the colony. Something that will not happen when you are using screened bottom boards. So, because not everybody knows about this parasite or how to improve beekeeping practices, we invite you to share this video, please. Hope you've liked it. Subscribe to our new channel. We have lots of videos that are getting ready to be shared with you. This is Yara from Bees Are Funny. Bye for now.